All right, here we go. Question number seven from our pre-calculus homework number 12. In my lab math, they want us to write the augmented matrix of the system of equations. And so if we scroll down, we can see that they've given us a set of two linear equations in variables X and Y. So what I want to do real quick is jump over to the scratch work and explain exactly how the equations need to be set up so that you can convert that to an augmented matrix. So in our scratch work, this is what you need to know. This is the format that the equations need to be in before you can translate the equations into matrix form. Uh, a couple of characteristics to point out. Notice that my variables going across from left to right are in alphabetical order. The A, B, and C would represent uh, constants, numbers in the equations. The other thing to point out is that up and down, the variables have to line up. So all your X's line up, your Y's, if you had Z's, they would line up. This is a necessary requirement for the equations so that you can get the matrix correct. So looking over here at the equations they've given me, I noticed that these are equal to zero and we really need those constants to be on the other side. So we only have one step to get these equations to where they need to be and that is moving the constants to the other side. So that's gonna give us 2x plus 7y equals negative five negative 9x plus 9y equals positive 4 and then the coefficients of the variables are what we're going to basically copy and paste into the matrix. So now back to the MyLab math and write the matrix. And forgive me if that looks a little bit small, I had to zoom out so that I could fit both the equations and the matrix in one window here. We're gonna copy and paste the coefficients just like we had in our scratch work. That's gonna give us a two, seven. Remember the constant has to be on the other side, making it minus five, negative nine, positive nine, and the negative four moved over to make a plus four. And that is how you convert your system of linear equations into an augmented matrix. And before I click check, one more thing, the word augmented means separated. So this vertical bar is the separator that separates the coefficients of the variables from the constants. One more time, augmented matrix means you have to have a separator that represents the equal signs. And that's going to do it for this particular problem. So if you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.